Hello everybody. Today uh, I am going to show you easy ways to create a dotting tool. I know some people cannot find dotting tools where they live and will want to achieve, achieve some um, nail art that maybe involves a dotting tool. So I come up with some ways that are everything's around the house pretty much for you to create these effects. So, here are some of them. I hope you liked it. Subscribe. And, yeah. Okay, let's get started. The first technique I will be using would be the cotton swab. For the cotton swab, I'm just going to be um, adding a tad of nail polish to show you the effect it gives. And I'll do it each color for each individual uh, dotting tool I will use. So, I'm going to start by dotting the cotton swab into the polish that I have. So depending on how lightly or how harder you push into the nail, but right now I'm using paper, will depend on the size of the dot you will create. The next item I used was the bobby pin. So I just opened up a bobby pin. And if a girl has one of these, so this one's really easy. So I got my polish. And you just dip it in, and it will give you a smaller effect. Like this. So dot, 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 dot. So you get the point now of for a the bottom pick. I'm going to grab my polish. You can either use um, plastic toothpicks or wooden toothpicks. So I have both kinds right here, like this. So I'm just going to dip. First, I'm going to do the wooden. Like this, a really tiny dot. like that. So I'm going to show you with the same color, but over here the plastic gives the same effect. Now I'm going to get another color. I'm going to grab another color. And the next thing is something that your mom might have in her sewing kit, I guess. Okay. Which is this type of a needle, just with the head, and we're going to use this part right here. For this, what I'm going to be doing is um, I'm just going to grab an eraser or anything that this can go into, and I'll just dab it, dab it into the object, like so, as much as you want. And I just dab it into an eraser, and like this, it's a perfect thing to hold, right? So I'm just going to dab it in. Now this one works really well, as you can see. Now the next thing is something you'd find in your desk, which is a um, paper clip. Now there's the ones with the plastic and the ones with the, they're just metal. So, I'm going to use the plastic because I like those ones better. Okay. So there's this one, the metal. And then there's this one. Well, it would be closed, but you see with this coating, the ones that are colored. So I'm going to just use the plastic one to demonstrate. And it kind of gives it like the toothpick. And depending on the size of it, like the bigger ones will probably give a bigger um, dot. So there, like that. Next thing I will be doing is um, a pencil. So, the tip of a pencil can also work. Depending on how sharp it is or how dull it is, will also give you an effect. Now, this one's not too dull, but not too sharpened. So, all I'm going to do is just dip the tip. You can use a pen for this. You can use a mechanical pencil. This is a nice 
dot. And they're also doing another pencil, but it's not the pencil part, it's the eraser. See this one, I'm going to show you something. Oh, I apologize. Next one will be for um, a bigger circle, like a bigger picture. So, you're just going to have the eraser of a pencil, and you're going to just sharp, uh, erase it until you get a nice um, circle edge. So, I just use a got a pencil. And it should look like this. It's gonna, the tip's going to be, uh, so your part's going to be rounded. Um, and what you're really going to do is you're just going to dip it. And it'll give a nice circle. Like that. It's a pan fantastic. It's by uh, Elmer's, and it's for kids. It's paint, so it just looks like this, but it's like a marker kind of, but it's not. It has a paintbrush. And it's the tip. Now you can use bolts, you can use anything that has a rounded tip. So I just picked this item out to show you that you guys can really do anything. So this is the tip. And it's really big. But it just makes these circles. Like this. So these are all the tips that I have created using uh things just some gadgets that you will find around the house. I hope you like this video and if you want me to create some designs, show you how to create designs with these items, I will show you how and do kind of cool techniques with them. Um, I hope you liked it. Subscribe, leave a video response.